Hello, everyone. From today on, I have a couple of video on a very interesting topic, which is how to use ChatGPT as a tool to clean your employee data more efficiently. So the background for this is that usually in the fall, it is the time when organization starts to think about budget planning and planning for annual compensation adjustments. So at this time, throughout the last few months of the year, usually there's a lot of data analysis and modeling involved in preparing employee data. So that's why at this point, it's critically important that your employee data is accurate and ready for analysis. In the past, myself, I have done tons of analysis repetitively in Excel. And uh, now that we have this ChatGPT tool, I'm thinking, why don't we try to leverage this tool and make our cleaning data work more fun and also more productive. So let's get started with the first example. So here is the business scenario where we can use this. Let's say this is an employee Excel file where we need to do some cleanup. The first thing we need to do is we actually have a few employee IDs where it's blank and we need to get rid of the line because if we don't have the employee ID, that means like the employee might not be in our system. It's not applicable. So we need to basically delete all the rows where the employee ID is shown as blank. So how do we do that with chat GPT. Now let's open no. our chat GPT interface and uh, we can just type in the instruction. So as usual, like when you give order to chat GPT, you want it to be as specific as possible. So for example, this time, what I'm going to give is create VBA code to delete rows where column A is blank. And let's run it and then see what chat GPT can give us. Okay, so now the code is ready. Let's go to the macro table, go to developer tab and code module. Um, that's the code I had. Let's one thing you might notice is that every time chat GPT will give you a different set of code. Uh, what I have on the screen might not be the same as what you run in your chat GPT. And that's okay. Sometimes both works, sometimes either works. So that's something you do have to train your chat GPT. Okay, so now I just pasted my code. Let's just take a brief look. First is that we set this worksheets to be shit one, um, while my shit name is employee records so I customize that and then find the last row with the data in column A okay so last row I think that will do and uh, it's saying that loop through each row if it's blank then just delete the row looks like a valid code so now let's save it and let's run it so if it's running successfully you will see those blank disks. okay okay awesome so it seems that everything is all good so that's good that's a very simple straightforward but very effective example of how we can delete rows with blank uh, value in excel VBA. okay so that is everything i want to share with you in this example i hope that you'll find it helpful in the next example i will show you how to clean the data with ChatGPT when a cell value is not blank. So I guess I will see you in my next video.